hello viewers welcome to vector cano tutorials so in this video i'm going to show you about how to use cano graphic panel and this is section 2 uh, already i had uh, posted earlier a video uh, which describes the first part of this graphic panel if you haven't watched that please watch it so that this will give a clear picture about the continuation with respect to the previous video thank you so in this video i'm going to show you about how to use the cano graphic panel configuration so firstly just to um, fast forward on how to create this graphic panel i'm again providing you the same hint so once if you have opened the vector cano tool so you have to select the option analysis and then select the measurement setup you will have this window opened and here you can right click anywhere in the block and then you can click on to the insert graphic window so that you will it will create a separate block named as graphics and here I just renamed it as sample for our video purpose you can click on to this button so that you will be prompted to the graphic panel yes as I said in the previous video so these are the five signals that I have included for our uh, demo purpose. So these signals you can add it by right click and then add signals and then it will um, provide you the list of signals which is available in the database and you can select the signals which you wanted to monitor. And now here we are going to see the configuration, uh, I mean graphic configuration part. So double click or else right click and uh, uh, if you double click it will open the graphic configuration the, on the other way around right click and then you can select the configuration again it will prompt the same graphic configuration. So in my earlier video I had um, shown about the signals uh, or accesses y axis appearances in the time. So these are the three sections that we have already um, discussed and now I am going to explain about the graphic mode diagram and then finally on the legends so firstly we're going to see on the graphic mode so what is this graphic mode is about so this is about uh, we have the options like time axis display and then we have the xy display so if you select the option time axis display it means that your x axis will be based on the time you will see time it's 0 1 2 3 so these are the time scalings in terms of seconds but if you do not want to go with the time axis you can still go with signal specific as an axis for that purpose you can select XY display so when you select on the XY display it gives you the option of selecting the signal which you wanted to keep your x-axis instead of time scaling so here uh, it will show you the number of signals which you had added in the graphic panel at the left side so all those signals will be appearing over here you can select any one of the signal which you wanted to keep those axis as an x-axis here so if I select the vehicle speed here the vehicle speed axis will be set as an x-axis here instead of the time scaling so now I'm going to click OK I selected the vehicle speed and then I'm clicking on to OK if you see here now this x-axis is not based on the time scaling it is based on the vehicle speed signal so uh, this will be useful if you wanted to plot uh, set of signals against any specific uh, signal uh, which you wanted to keep it as an x-axis so uh, for that analysis purpose this kind of an xy display will be beneficial and then again uh, the next section is about xy display duration uh, display during measurement so here you have the option of delete graphics every 30 seconds and then show all signal values so delete graphics signal every 30 seconds it means that 
after 30 seconds so it's a configurable value you can select or you can enter any value which you wanted to give so uh, it uh, if by giving 30 seconds here it means that after 30 seconds you will not see the data appearing still it will delete so the same way if I click it as if I give it as 100 seconds it means that after 100 seconds the data will be plotted in a new um, new scalings and not and you will not see the data before 100 seconds so that is the purpose of having this data uh, this is something like to reduce your memory usage so you can effectively uh, if you wanted to see um, a specific time frame in current and you don't want to accumulate your past data for that purpose you can use this option so in such a way that you can always select certain time frame and um, before which you can delete all those data which is not required so for that purpose you can still use it and show all signal value it's again uh, it's for the same purpose and I again go back to the time axis which will be uh, clear for us yes okay now going to the second option of diagram so what is this diagram section so this diagram section is basically meant on the appearance of your graphic panel so here um, so this is your primary view and uh, you will see uh, in the display settings you have multiple options like show grid show marker bar show symbolic values show screen tip of the measurement cursor and then show samples marked signals bold and then you have the display mode so coming one by one firstly show grid so if you click on to this show grid um, it will show a grid uh, so that uh, it will be easy for you to understand under which y-axis uh, the signal is um, changing so that uh, uh, it will be easy for you to uh, narrow down or to analyze it so this particular grid will grid view will be uh, more beneficial in terms of doing the analysis of your signals and then show marker bar if you select this one so it will show a marker bar at the bottom and here if you double click on to it so you will get a time a marker bar over here and you can select multiple marker bar and then you can uh, use it for your analysis purpose and um, and then show symbolic values so uh, if you have any symbolic values like degrees or uh, uh, in, in, in in that sort of signal so it will be shown over here so it's selected here but it is there is no specific signals with that symbolic so it will not uh, see even if I select it uh, but it will uh, if you enable this one it will show the symbolic values also and then uh, show screen tip of the measurement cursor it's something that if you use the cursor um, cursor like this so it will show you a screen tip and then the screen tip uh, length uh, it can also be still configured so how much ever characters that you wanted to display that you can still select um, so that is the purpose of this uh, show screen tip of uh, measurement cursor and then on the right side you have the option called show sample so uh, this is an important uh, option which will be really beneficial for you to analyze on the samples of your signals so if you select this option uh, it will show you the list of samples in each plotting of your signals so I'm going to show you uh, how the samples are located so if I uncheck this box you see here uh, you will see samples in, in small small dots and this will disappear if I unselect this option so I unselect it and so you will not see any samples here but if you select this option it will show the number of samples in each signal transitions remember this graphic panel it is just a plotting of your x and y signals based on the samples so between samples between each samples the this particular software will plot plot in the sense it will draw a virtual line so that it looks like it's a continuous data but it is not a continuous data it's a discrete data but in order to show you or to visualize you visualize for us 
it it just draw a virtual line between the samples so that is the major intent of having this graphic panel and this particular option will enable to understand how many samples that we received at a period of time so that is the purpose of this show samples and then marked signals bold so this is for this in order to make the signals bold you can select this option and then display mode display mode is meant for you will have three options like show all signals with colors and then gray unmarked signals and then show only marked signals so uh, these are the different uh, uh, options that we have it in display mode so now it is already selected as show all signals with color so i'm going to select the gray unmarked signals if you see marked signals is yellow wheel speed and if you see all other signals are mentioned or, or shown as gray so it, uh, this will give a clear picture about uh, uh, what is your preferred uh, signals which you wanted to really um, understand so you can select any of your signals and then you can see uh, only that signal will be highlighted so that you can focusly do the analysis of your signals so that is the purpose of uh, having this gray unmarked signals and then show only marked signals so this is another option so here you can select if you click on to any particular signal only that will be listed in your uh, view uh, even though all the signals are selected uh, since we had selected the option of show only the signal selected you can select any signal and then you can see the signal plotting for that particular uh, selected signal uh, imagine uh, also understand that we can uh, um, we can also select multiple signals if you select more than we can also select all together so um, it is also falls under like all the signals five signals are selected and so all the five signals will be selected sometimes in the whole number of signals you wanted to analyze between these two signals so then you can select one of these two signals and you can do your analysis so that is the purpose of having this display mode uh, option called show only mark signals so i'll again show uh, go to the mode of show all signals with colors and now coming to the color settings so color settings it's important um, here we have two options uh, on the background so uh, now right now it is selected as black and so you see a black background um, color for this uh, graphic panel and if you, it's, you can also select it as white uh, where uh, your background will be select uh, will be shown as white background so these are the two options that you have it on the background color and then the grid color uh, it still has multiple options so you have a lot of color variation that you wanted to have it uh, it's based upon your own uh, particular uh, preference uh, by which you can select it so that your grid color will get changed for example now the grid color <clears throat> uh, if you wanted to see firstly you have to enable the grid show grid uh, and then if you see uh, the grid color right now it is green and if you want if you don't want to have this color you can also select a different color like red or yellow for a brighter appearances and if you see uh, it's 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 very contrast yeah uh, i don't believe i don't think so like you will be preferring to this kind of a color so you can use some dim color so that uh, um, it's not so um, contrast and it doesn't uh, um, overshadow your signal uh, signals so for that you can select any of the mild colors uh, so that your uh, um, grid will not uh, um, be too harsh I select any one of it yeah like this yes yeah maybe something like this uh, yeah okay something like this it's okay yeah okay now uh, that is the purpose of this grid color and the background color option and the final one is on the uh, font so the font of the uh, the font that we use it to represent on the uh, graphic panel uh, it can also be changed if you select on it you have some predefined fonts available here you can select any one of it and then you can uh, uh, if you prefer to change it you can still change it if you do not want it to uh, if you want to stay with the default value you can still keep it as default so that is the purpose of this uh, diagram section so where we had seen about the display settings color settings and font and the final section that we are going to is on the legend so 
uh, in the legend yes we have certain options like uh, show details in the uh, name column so if you select this option it will show more details onto the signal section if you see here the vehicle speed is what the only information that we see it in the signal name but if, but when we select this option like show details in the names column you will see more information with respect to each signals so you will see the min max value of that particular signal so minimum value is 0 and then the maximum value is 200 and 2731 so that is the purpose of having this option so um, we don't want uh, ideally uh, it's okay to not to select this option because uh, um, it will take too much of space so that you will not be able to um, if you are analyzing for many number of uh, signals and in that case um, this uh, additional details will will itself will take the space out of your screen so you can always unselect this option and then you have the display behavior of uh, measurement column so we have two options like when measure uh, we have one option called when measured data is shown like during measurement and active measurement cursor and then you have the another um, column called uh, always so user defined columns layout so which you can always select it and also you have another option called font is again with respect to this uh, um, uh, this is for the again for the column purpose uh, yes so I hope uh, um, this section uh, the series of two videos uh, which explains about the uh, uh, graphic configuration uh, uh, I hope it will be helpful for you to um, um, gain some more insight about how to customize your uh, graphic panel view uh, and also more options uh, to uh, which will be beneficial in terms of your signal analysis uh, I hope you like the video so if you like this video please hit on the like button of this video and uh, subscribe to this channel so that uh, whatever the videos that I'm going to put it further uh, will be visible to you and you will, you will get to know more about the vector 2 thanks for watching thank you all bye bye